This video is an example of probability in a challenging word problem. So what you see is a grid, and I'll read the problem. It's out of your textbook, page 326, number 15. A network of city streets forms a square block, as shown in this diagram. So Janine starts at the library, and she walks towards the pool. She has to walk what we'll call south and east. At the same time, Miguel leaves the pool, and he walks towards the library, let's say going north and west. They always have to walk towards their destination. So she's going down and to the right, and he's always going up and to the left. Neither person follows a particular route, so let's assume it's random. Except they're always moving towards their destination. You can't go backwards. You always have to go from the pool towards the library, or from the library towards the pool. What's the probability they will meet if they both walk at the same rate? So it's a tricky question, but I'll see if I can walk you through it. So first is figuring out where they could meet. And what you see as you compare is if she moves down, she starts at the library, he starts at the pool. If she moves down to here, he moves to here. Now I need two hands. And then he goes to here, she goes to here. They could maybe mate here. Or one move, one move, and then, okay, they can meet there again. Or one move, one move, one move, they could meet here. Or one move, one move. I just try all the possibilities, and what you end up seeing when you move at the same speed, maybe like this, and like this, and like this, and like this, is the only spots they could meet are these five spots. I'll call those spots A, B, C, D, and E. The only ways they could do that, let's try it again now that the letters are there. Let's say they're going to meet at B, then he has to go here, and she goes there, and then here, and then here, so they can meet there. Those are the only spots to meet. So now what I need to figure out is how many ways they can each get to these spots. Well, watch what happens. She starts here. How many ways can she get to here? It really helps if you know Pascal's triangle and understand how to do this. If not, I recommend watching the videos on that. Starting here, she has one way to start. And to get to this intersection, she has one way. To get to this intersection, she also has one way. But to get to this intersection, there are two ways. To get to this intersection, just one way, straight down. To get to this intersection, though, three ways. This intersection, one way. So this intersection, also three ways. This intersection, one way. And even, we can go right to meeting point A, one way to get there. But B, she can come down like this, or from any of these three routes, there's four ways. And to this C meeting spot, six ways. And to this D meeting spot, well, it's one way to get here, so there's one way to get here. So four ways to get here. And there's only one way for her to get to E. This shows me all the different number of ways to get to those spots. Good so far. The same is actually true for starting at the pool. Miguel leaves the pool, he has one way to get there. It's the same shape, just in reverse. One way to get here, one way to get here, one way to get here. He also has one way to A. He also has one way to E. He has to just go up, up, or north, 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 till he gets there, one way. But to this intersection two, and to this intersection, a two and a one is a three. Same to this one, one and two make three. So to get to the D spot, he has four ways. Or to get to the C spot, he also has six ways. Or to get to the B spot, he also has four ways. So now we know they both have the same probability of getting, or at least number of ways to getting to that spot. So how do we figure out the probability they meet? Well, the probability they meet is just the probability they meet at A, plus the probability they meet at B, plus the probability they meet at C. I mean, there are five spots they can meet at. So we need to figure out what's the probability they meet at each of them. And we'll consider those separately. Okay, in order to meet at A, she only has one way to go. So her number of ways to get there is one. But how many total ways could she go? Well, she could have had one way here, plus four ways here is five, plus six, that's 11, plus four is 15, plus one is 16. So do you see there were 16 total endpoints for her? 
She could end up here, 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 here. And there were one plus four plus six plus four plus one, a total of 16 paths. She had to take this one path to get to A because they both are going to meet at A. And same with him. He only had one way to get here and he also had a total of 16 ways. So the, what's the probability they meet at A? Her one out of 16 ways to get, get there times his one out of 16 ways to get there. Same thing for B. They both have the same probability. What's the probability she ends up at B? There's four ways she can get to B out of her total 16 paths. And there's four ways he can get to B out of his total 16 paths. How many ways can they meet at C? Well, he, she can get there six out of 16 ways and he can get there six out of 16 ways. How about meeting at D? We'll add that on. He has, well, we'll start with her. She has four out of 16 paths there times his four out of 16 paths there. And now it's easy. Once you know what to do, by now you should be like, yeah, it's easy now. How do you, many ways can they get to E? Well, she has one way out of her 16 paths. And then we have to multiply because he also needs to get to his one out of 16 ways there. Let's keep the denominator the same. This is just top times top, bottom times bottom. You get one out of 256. Even what I meant by the denominator, the same thing is here. I could reduce these fractions, but I'm not going to because it'd be easy to add them. If I leave this, 16 times 16 is again 256. And on the top, I get 16. What's 6 times 6? 36. On the bottom, still 256. Or they meet at D. There's 16 ways they could meet there out of a total of 256 possibilities. And how about meet at E? 1 out of 256. So it's all going to be at a 256. We just add up all those numbers. What's 1 plus 16 plus 36 plus 16 plus 1? You get 70. And what's 70 divided by 256? That's uh, round to, I guess, three decimals. So what's the probability they meet up? We've got it. It's 0 0.273 or 27.3%. Therefore, there is a 27.3% chance they meet up. So this was an example of how to use probability in a challenging word problem.